Hello everybody, I want to go over how to set up a stream today, focusing specifically on two programs, OBS and Magic Online. Now there was a previous article on this by Gabby Sparks, and it was excellent, uh, but as with all technology, things change very quickly, I thought it was due for a quick update, and I wanted to go a little bit deeper on a few things. I did a panel on this at GP Vegas, so if you were there to see that, then this is the update to that, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Uh, my goal today is to get you up and streaming Magic Online in about an hour or less with a good basic setup, nothing fancy, but it's a nice start. Rather than starting with OBS, uh, I'd like to start with the actual setup. So you can see I've got Magic Online up. Um, you can stream in like five minutes with OBS. It's pretty easy to use. One of the problems though is it just won't look very good. And if you start off with something that people don't like, then you're not going to be able to entice a lot of viewers. Since we're not starting with OBS, what I want to do is I want to start with a quick functional overlay. If it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be anything super fancy, but it has to be something to show that you care about your channel and what you're doing. You'll want to start out like I am with simply booting up Magic Online, get it positioned where you want it. Uh, I might want to have like a little bit of a chat in this side area here so I can do it all on one screen, take a look. So you can kind of position things like that, decide how you want your actual desktop to look like. And then once you've done that, all you want to do is screenshot that. So you can do that with the snipping tool. I like that one the best. You can also do it with paint and then cut it out afterwards. I would rather use the snipping tool. You can search up snipping tool and then you set new snip. It'll highlight your screen like this, and then you can choose an area, so it will highlight boop, Magic Online. Now the reason why we're doing this is it'll give us the size of Magic Online that we want. So we'll save that, and we're going to say this is Magic Online. Perfect. So now that we have that, uh, if you are using a camera, you might want to get a picture of that as well. So you can set up your camera, start it. Kind of, or find like a picture of yourself that's about the size that you'd want your camera. I wouldn't worry myself about having a camera. If you don't have one when you're doing this already, you don't really need one. There's a lot of very successful streamers, both in Magic and outside of it, that don't use cameras at all. So I, I wouldn't bother spending a lot of money on it. There's a ton of things that you can spend money on on your stream that will make it much, much better. A camera just doesn't have to be one of them. You can be out of that majority that use them. A lot of people will like a stream without a camera anyways. And honestly, you can save a little bit of screen space. There, There is a premium for how many things you can put on an actual screen at a time and still be able to watch Magic Online in good detail. So we have our pieces, we've got our cutout. And what I want to do for this overlay is I want to go to a quick, simple website called PicMonkey. It's a decent startup. It's not amazing, but it's really good if you don't have access to, say, Photoshop or GIMP. Um, if you're using Creative Cloud, if you know Photoshop, then go ahead and use that. Uh, you can buy it now for about, I believe that the photography side of it is $10 a month, but you have to pay annually. So you're really paying $120 and you're signing up for 12 months. And it is a little bit harder to use. If you don't have any training on Photoshop, it takes a little bit of work. You can find it out pretty easily by looking up tutorials. There's things like Creative Cow that will teach you some things. But if you don't want to do that, you want to avoid all of that, there's a nice little program called PicMonkey. It's just an online one. And what you can do is, it's, I almost feel like it's a an in-betweener between like say Photoshop and Paint, which is perfect. So you'll want to do a design and you want to do custom size. Now your custom size is going to be 1920 by 1080 because you're going to be 1080p. 99% of you will have that, so set it up. If you have a different resolution to your monitor, then go ahead and set it up that way. I definitely suggest going 1920 by 1080. Uh, it'll be much better for everybody watching your stream. If you somehow can't do that, then put it into whatever ratio you need. And then we'll want to do this first. We want to do transparent canvas. This is really important because we need to actually have on your canvas a way for you to show Magic Online afterwards. We're going to put Magic Online in here as like a way to put base your overlay around, but you don't actually want to have 
it showing afterwards, you're going to need to layer them inside of OBS. So you need it to be transparent so that eventually your overlay will be like an area here and down or wherever you want to have it. You can do it on other sides as well. Most people that do magic have it on the top and then the sidebar. And then you want to have magic online peeking through underneath that. So you're going to be able to layer that on top of magic online. We want to add our own. Perfect. So go to my computer. And on our desktop, we have the Magic Online image. And that'll show it in the exact size that we had it on our desktop. I'm going to be like, well, I think that I like it in this bottom corner here. Now, it's important. Don't resize this. Maybe you're like, ooh, actually, uh, like you can resize it here. But then you're going to need to remember to do that later. So you're going to be like, oh, actually, I think that it needed to be a little bit bigger than that. I don't want this much of a sidebar, so I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Maybe something like this. Okay, I'm going to have to thin Magic Online out later because you can tell it's too tall, but I'll just make it a little bit wider because it's too big of a sidebar. So I'm going to do something like that, and that's going to be where our Magic Online is going to be. We're going to want base everything around that. Now, we need to have a nice overlay on top of this and generally you want a little bit of a pattern so to get that pattern you're going to want to find like a google search and get a nice pattern that you like you want to keep it consistent across all of your social media so that you get a nice consistent design across everything that you're doing so you're going to eventually want to put buttons below your Twitch. Uh, you're going to be wanting to do things like Twitter banners and Twitch banners. And you want them to all have the basic same look. You want them to have the same font. You want them to have the same like background pattern or uh, color scheme to them as well. So that it has a very consistent look. It'll let people know immediately that you're the same person across all of those things. Now... What I did is I went and Google search for a pattern. You have to be a little bit careful with that. I did this beforehand. Find a nice geometric pattern that you like. Uh, what's important there is that you go to the exact website. You don't just like Google search it and then grab the first one that you like because then you're going to run into copyright issues. But if you go to the actual websites, there's places like Free Pick, uh, which is spelled with a K at P I K. If you go to freepick.com, I believe it is, then they'll have ones that you can use without having to, uh, you can do just a tributation to them so you don't actually have to pay money. Shutterstock will often have to be paid, but you wanna just look at things like that so that you're making sure that you're either paying for it or you're attributing it below your stream appropriately so that you don't run into any copyright problems later. Just because you're changing the way that pattern looks doesn't mean that suddenly you're avoiding copyright. You can get in trouble for it, so just be really careful about that. So I'm gonna add in my overlay that I have. So I've got my pattern. I'm gonna go back to my computer and we wanna grab this image. So we've got a nice little pattern here. It's obviously more than a little too small. So I'm gonna resize that. And we're gonna just make it a little bit bigger. And you can stretch it if you need to. So we might do it like this size. Now we don't want to have it going across that moto part. So I'm going to put it up here. Now I really don't like those colors. Those aren't colors that I want. So we have on this side, which is pretty neat. We can be like, ooh, I think that I kind of like a nice, let's do like a light blue. Let's find a way to do it like as a light blue pattern. Well, I kind of like that. That looks kind of nice. Cool, so it kind of goes to a white to blue. I like that a lot. We'll put that there. We need something on the side though too, and I can't really use it across the whole background. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is we're gonna remove this magic online and it'll have it all underneath and then it won't be good for our overlay again. We need to have that space empty and transparent. So that's why we're keeping Moto there. We don't want anything going over Moto. All right, so let's do another image. So we add that back in again, put in that same image. And it's right behind our overlay here. And I'm just gonna rotate it. Maybe let's go, cause we're gonna need to have it on an edge so that it's a little less stretched out on this side. And we'll pull it down. Oh, here we go. Let's go let PicMonkey do its thing. 
Oh, it's a little off, that's why. There we are. Just try and straighten it a bit. Gotta keep our space for magic online. So the important thing, we can have as much of it go off the edge of it as we want, but we just don't want to go too far overlapping the actual magic online side of things. Cool. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did before. I'm going to make it like a nice blue, kind of match up the colors there. We've got a bit of design that's staying in there. So I like that. It looks pretty decent. It's not amazing or anything, but it's a nice little start. Uh, let's add something else. I think that I want to have my name up at the top. And I want to have it like prominently featured. So I'm going to do a pattern here. I'm going to grab one of these. I'm going to do a pentagon. And I'm going to pick similar color again. You can actually choose to do this too and get it the same. So you can go like that. And I'm going to have it up here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because we're going to have to have space for our name to show. And that'll come down just over the top of Magic Online. So it's going to go over it a little bit. So this is exactly what it'll look like on our stream. This part will overlay on top of the very top edge of Magic Online, kind of give it a little bit of pop and be a space for us to put our name. I'm gonna stretch it that way still a little bit. I want it a little bit larger than that. And I can even do, if I want, I can say do a second color too. So we can have like a border to it. Uh, I don't like that, but we could do, hmm. I could go like a little darker, do a darker blue. I probably want to do like a nice white, I would say. So I could just grab a white here on the side if I wanted to. So I could do it like that. I don't think that I really like that. So I'm just going to go back to having this as nothing and just having it as transparent, leaving it like that. I'll write some text on that afterwards. We'll do it on, inside of OBS because I have some actual text that I want to put up on there. And I want to be able to change my text later, maybe. So we've got all that. Looks pretty good. And one last thing that I want to do is I actually think on the side here, and this is different. This is just an example of what you might want to do. I think that I'm going to separate, say, my, ch my own camera is going to be here. So I'm going to be in this bottom area, and then I'm going to have chat above that. So I'm going to have a little line here that we'll just kind of separate the two. And I'll have it as a nice kind of in-between blue color. So there we go. So we've got a nice little line. So I'll have me here underneath. And then over top, we're gonna have chat. Perfect, we have an overlay. Now we wanna delete the magic online side of things so that we just have that transparent ender area underneath. And then we're just gonna wanna save it. And we'll, so we'll export it. And we have to just sign up with Facebook or anything like that. So I'm going to sign up. <laughs> My email is already registered. So I already have an account. So I'll do that and we'll download it. And we'll be back to finish this.